Hello once again friends and thank you for joining me today. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 21 says, Holiness to the Lord. Now yesterday we thought about what sin really means and today we're thinking about holiness. In a similar vein to the word sin, the word holy can become just another piece of Christian jargon. Both are words that we hear a lot in churches and don't often take time to properly define. Now we can see a flawed example of performing false holiness in the Pharisees throughout the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. These Pharisees make a song and dance about their own piety without much to show of a genuine love of God. In Matthew chapter 23 verse 33 we see Jesus say to them, you snakes, you brood of vipers, how will you escape being condemned to hell? You see, God's not impressed when we pretend to be holy by making a show of following rules and regulations. Holiness must mean something other than just being religious. Often in the Old Testament, the Hebrew word used for holiness is godesh, which can be translated as to mean apartness separateness or sacredness. Now by his very nature God is separate from the world and therefore our model of true holiness. John chapter 4 verse 24 tells us that God is spirit which sets him apart from earthly things and makes him sacred. But thankfully Jesus bridges this separation and through the Holy Spirit we can share in God's holiness. We become sacred too, something clothed in spirit and different from the rest of this world. We're set apart to carry his presence here. Now this doesn't mean that we should be isolated from everything around us, but that we should be noticeably set apart for God's purposes. That's what's meant by being in the world, but not of the world. We can't make any differences without getting involved in the earthly community around us, but we have to stay holy through our ongoing relationship with God. So let's try to do the opposite of that false holiness shown by the Pharisees. Why don't you today uh, do something godly for someone anonymously. Don't take credit for it. Just do it quietly. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Risen Christ, by the lakeside you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to the fire of your love, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever.